If you are someone who is struggling with lust and you feel like it's impossible to overcome the lustful temptation, well, first off, you're not alone because 75% of men actually deal with the same thing. But I promise you, if you lock in by the end of this video, you will be able to overcome it. And I'm gonna be making it easy for you to stay to the end because I'm gonna be handing out some dubs. The last two times I played Fortnite, I didn't get a dub, but this time I am. And y'all gonna be interactive. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So these are the five main reasons you're struggling with lust. And yes, there's only five reasons. And I promise you, once you overcome these five things, your temptations will literally go away. And I promise you, once you overcome lust, it is the best feeling ever. Number one is to find your purpose. Because if you don't have no purpose, you... All right, the only reason I died is because I wasn't locked in. Like I was saying, when you don't have a purpose, you start to fill yourself with distraction. And lust is keeping you away from your purpose. So if you find something, bro, why, oh my. Bro, I gotta stop landing at this place. This is literally the worst spot. But like I said, find something to do, get some money. Just find something more meaningful than just lust because if you find something that's more important than lust and you know that lust is keeping you away from your purpose then you won't want to satisfy that desire and that's just for the people who are lazy and don't want to do nothing bro bro there's no way he's chasing me bro no hold on let me lock in hey this game is so bad bro i hit this man for like 18 22 Bro, this game honestly just literally don't want me to win, bro. Yeah, like I was saying, bro, focus more on your purpose than you do on lust. And also focus on the purpose of life. Start learning about the meaning of life. Start learning about God. Just get your mind off a of relationship and marriage and stuff like that. No, try not to think about that stuff. And also work out and stuff like that. Make sure you are always in the gym. Because the more you're active, the less likely you're going to have those temptations and stuff like that. And once you start to level up yourself, once you start to work out and focus on your purpose give money you will start to feel better and you won't want to gratify those fleshly desires well that's part of it but that actually brings me to the second part which is one of the most important parts and is to watch what you are listening to watch what you are watching like what type of content you are watching because if you scroll in on social media scrolling on tiktok scrolling on instagram and you see some ice spice or something that's lustful those thoughts are gonna start to creep back in when it's like 12 a.m 11 a.m and it don't even gotta be nothing crazy it can be something simple as be a fine girl that you looking at on the internet that you just find really attractive you see i didn't know what the plan was there you know what, we're just going to take a break for now, and I'm just going to talk to you. But like I was saying, there's certain things that you just got to cut off and be willing to cut off if you really want to work on yourself and get rid of lust. And I'm going to pull up a couple of examples of what you should do. I'm going to scroll on a couple of TikToks, and I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I do when it comes to this type of stuff. And I'm going to test to see if you know what to do in this situation. So let's pull up TikTok right quick. If you're not pursuing God, then you don't need to be pursuing me. <laughs> yo, yo. I'm linking Alicia tonight. I licked Maria last night and I got two And I'm bad like the ball So you see a post like this, what do you do? So the reason why it's D is because you don't want that type of content on your For You page. Now it's cool if you watch TikToks for like an hour to make time go by. But if you have stuff like that on your For You page or even on Instagram on your uh, on the Reels or on the Explore page, then just scroll past it or click not interested. Because those are the type of posts that you're going to remember later on and it's going to cause you to fall. By the way, I'm speaking from experience because I remember going like a six month street and then watching that type of content. Even on Netflix, I was watching a Netflix series with a lot of sexual scenes. And not even a month later, I got this overwhelming temptation just to go watch porn. And guess what? I fell. There's a reason why parents cover the kids eyes when they see something rated R. So yes, 100%, this could be the root of why you are struggling with lust. And number three is 100% get a relationship with god seek after the truth seek after the purpose of life I really could have put this first to be honest but yeah you need to get a relationship with god because there's so many times where i ask god for strength to keep me away from lust and he delivered me but the reason why i didn't put this first because if you're not willing to make sacrifices to stay away from lust then you can't just ask god for strength and he'll give it to you it was when i made those sacrifices to show god i really want to stop lusting that is when he delivered me from my lust addiction so yeah get in the bible get in the word start learning about god more and, but start looking at the spiritual side of the bible because there's so many spiritual things that you can 
actually take action on in the Bible. Don't treat it as just a religion because it's the truth. Now, if you don't believe that, it's cool. Seek for yourself. Seek God for yourself. Don't even seek a religion. Just seek the higher power. But yeah, on to number four. Let's get into some gameplay too. Number four is to watch what you think about. Because the battle is all in your mind. If you're thinking about sex 24-7, you're going to be horny at night. But if you focus on your purpose, if you focus on God, then you won't have them temptation. Hold on. Let me lock in right quick. I told y'all I'm really him at Fortnite, bro. I just had to warm up a little bit. Now I'm finna win this game. But yeah, like I was saying, the battle starts in the mind. Even in the Bible, Jesus literally says the same thing. Matthew 5, 28, whoever looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery in the heart. So if you see a fine 10 and 10 on IG or TikTok or something like that, your first thought is like, ooh, I, want, uh, I wish I could hit that. Then bro, you already committed adultery in the heart. Then. You thinking like that is probably causing the temptations. It's cool to look at a girl and be like, oh, she look good. But your first thought shouldn't be, I wanna have sex with her. Like, and also, keep your eyes up, please. If you see a woman walk by and you're looking down or just looking at her body in general, bro, that's a clear sign that you are having those lustful thoughts towards that woman. And my number one way to fight those sexual lustful thoughts is do exactly what Jesus did. You start to quote the scriptures in your mind. Start learning the Bible scripture to help you fight because I already know that lust is probably one of the hardest battles to fight. And that actually brings me to number five, which is to be patient. I remember telling God that it's a process because every single time I fell, I felt so guilty. But I was like, God, I know you're still working on me. I'm trying my hardest, but it was a process. And I would go on like one to two streaks. I would go on month streaks, but I kept falling until there was just this one moment I made up in my mind. I'm like, I'm never going back to this. I'm done. And when I made that up in my mind, that's when God came and delivered me. So be patient, but you should see progress. Like you shouldn't be doing it every day. You should be stopping for weeks. You should be going on streaks. And every time you fall, realize what made you fall. Like remember what you did throughout the day. Remember what you thought about. Remember what you watched and see what the root is and continue to get better. And once you start to see what's making you fall, you have to cut it off. Because it low key might be a sacrifice. I'm gonna tell y'all my sacrifice right quick. My sacrifice was content creators. Constant that, your rage. And the reason why is because they do actually have a lot of sexual content like they sexualize a lot of things and i i really didn't even notice at first they make it kind of like slick but yeah not saying you have to but like that is that could be a route like i watch them sometimes like i watch i don't really watch their streams no more but i do watch some of their videos because kai is a good entertainer like i get that to him but yeah it might be different for you it might be music for you it might be something different but just figure out what it is and just cut it off but yeah those are the five things that's gonna help you stay away from lust and get rid of lust completely number one is to find your purpose keep yourself busy number two is to watch what you're looking at watch what type of content you're looking at watch what type of music you're listening to number three is to get a relationship with god and ask god for help seek for answers and number four is to win the battle in your mind get rid of those lustful thoughts and fight those lustful thoughts and number five is to be patient continue to get better and cut off the root find out what is making you fall and cut it off so yeah, after this video, make sure you are actually taking action. And yeah, this is Fighting Lust with Fortnite. And I'm not going to even tell you to like and subscribe. If you want to, go ahead. But yeah, for the rest of the video, we're just going to be finishing this game. And y'all going to watch me catch this dub. So. <laughs>
skis, we got the gold key. Not gonna lie, I never used it. I don't even know what it is, but you know what? Matter of fact, we don't even need it, bro. We finna get this dub, bro. I low key feel like myth in season two. <laughs> oh, just flying around, looking for people, not knowing what to really do. Finally, bro, someone tried running up on me. Bro, I really thought he was slick. Hold up. They need to take that out the game, bro. That grappler is so annoying. I'm not gonna lie, since I got back on Fortnite, bro, literally like two weeks ago, bro, eight, eight is my highest kill game. I'm not gonna lie. There is no way I lose this game, bro. See, I knew someone was gonna try to land on high ground, bro. coming gotta get out of there gotta get out of there bro I literally know the storm coming yeah he's still trying to fight me bro weird <laughs> all right got good position let's see what's in this chest all right top two time to lock in Oh my goodness, yo. Hey, this, this is the place I earlier. This is how I built this earlier. Oh, should have built something, dog. Bro, I'm not going to stop making Fortnite content until I get a dub, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I just can't go out on no loss, bro. Nah. Well, I know I said I wasn't going to ask for a like, but if you didn't made it this far, you might as well press the like button. I'm actually so pissed that I lost that game, but if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it, but I'll see y'all in the next one, so stay blessed.